Hello, welcome to Live at Epifan. It is Thursday, 3 o'clock Eastern, so we're here once again for another Live at Epifan episode. Uh, due to some last-minute scheduling changes, uh, I'm doing today's show by myself. We usually like to have two hosts, but uh, today, flying solo, but that's all right. So thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Uh, today's episode is probably going to be fairly basic and straightforward, but I think there's some good information here for a lot of our viewers who work in either the you know live streaming kind of world or the education sector and we're talking all about on-air lights are used specifically with our pearl hardware so this is something that we released in a firmware update not long ago and basically allows you to use a variety of on-air lights so you can use them for your own inspector gadget kind of uh, cosplay, or you can use them for what they're really for, and that is notifying people when you are on air or recording. So what are they a good idea for? Um, these ones in particular, we can use them on Pearl, but their primary design is to be used maybe at home or around the office to allow people the just the visual information that something's going on. So this one in particular, this busy light that I have here, um, you can plug this into a regular computer and with software, you can tie it into something like Zoom so that it would light up when you're in a Zoom meeting or on a Zoom call uh, to maybe let your family members know uh, not to enter the room. Of course, you could do a similar thing in the office. So those are kind of the general idea. The nice part is, is that we can translate that over into things like studio use. Everyone loves to have these super cool on-air lights for their studio. And these are a very simple, easy way to do something along those same lines. Um, so this one is lit up and you can see it's, it's lit up red. My camera is probably gonna freak out a little bit um, trying to do this, but um, mine is lit up red. Um, because I am actively streaming on the Pearl beside me using SRT uh, to our production system. You guys should be pretty familiar with that setup at this point. Um, so that's why it's lit up. Uh, I can't turn it off for you because that would turn off my stream. But, um, but essentially that's, that's what it does, which means I could stick this somewhere. I could put this outside my office or uh, outside my studio or whatever it is so that if someone is approaching a closed door, they could see this big red on-air light and understand that that's a do not disturb. This also translates really, really well into the education market for classrooms. And of course, that's a particular need right now where so many classes are being done in a hybrid split style where some people are in class and a lot of people are doing things from home at that same class. This means we need to notify people in the classroom that they're being streamed and recorded, but also people outside the classroom. If maybe there are no students there, it's just a professor sitting in the class like I am in my classroom at the moment. You need to let people know, basically. That's, that's the general idea. So as I mentioned very recently with the Pearl uh, systems, Pearl Mini and Pearl 2, we added support for these busy lights. Uh, there's two in particular that we support and recommend. Um, the Guando Busy Lights, which is the one of the ones I have here, and the Busy Lights uh, from Delcom. So these uh, both have kind of have their, their unique looks and how they work. Um, I'll try to do this quickly on my own to put these links into chat. It's the fun of doing it by yourself. So that's the light that I'm using. Um, they also make us another similar one. And I will put the uh, link to the Delcom ones in chat as well. Uh, these are the lights that we recommend. How they work with Pearl is very straightforward. Um, you know, you can see the, these ones here. These are the two different versions, the Alpha and the Omega. <laughs> Funny joke, Kwando. Um, for their busy lights, um, basically you just plug them in over USB. Uh, there's not much more to it than that just plug it in and then when you start streaming or recording it'll light up so there's no real configuration here plug and play super easy uh, makes it very simple the delcom ones 
same idea. They look and are built maybe a little more industrial and they have a few other different kind of designs. So while these ones, like the one I have, uh, this is very plastic, um, the kind of thing you might stick on top of your cubicle wall or on a monitor in an office setting, where the Delcom ones are definitely built to be more industrial. You can see they have versions that'll mount to uh, wall plates and all kinds of different things so that you could hang them from ceilings and things along those lines. So which ones are gonna fit your needs? They do exactly the same thing, just a question of what's gonna physically fit what you need uh, for that. So, I mean, there's not much to show here. Like I said, it's on air, that's it. Um, very simple, there's not even a menu to configure it. You literally plug it in. One of the things I did do is the USB cable on the one I have here, the Omega, is about 10 feet long. And so I actually connected it to a USB extension cable to add a little more length to it. We have tested this and we've played around with this a little bit to see how far you can extend it. And we've had pretty good success with, you know, 20-ish foot, but USB does have limitations. So you wanna make sure that you're not going too far, or if you are going extremely far, that you're using active cables so that you don't get signal loss uh, at distances. Um, but aside from that, very, very easy. So you can literally grab one of these, plug it into your Pearl, stick this on the outside of the classroom door, and everyone is gonna know that recording is active. This was very highly requested from one of, many of our customers in the education sector who either wanted to, or under the mandate that they absolutely must, provide a visual indicator that is very clear at the front of the class for students and participants to understand when they're being streamed or recorded. So it's a liability thing. Um, and again, you know, these can be, you know, a quick and easy addition uh, to, your, to your setup with a Pearl. So if anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer those. I did see in chat, Studio 11 was just saying uh, hello. They're watching from Montreal, just down the street. Um, saying, by the way, great, uh, great episode yesterday with PTZ Optics. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Uh, that was a lot of fun getting to chat with Paul and Tess at PTZ Optics. Um, so in case anyone wonders what we're talking about, yesterday I was a guest on the show that PTZ Optics does uh, at two o'clock on Wednesdays. And we were chatting about Pearl and PTZ Optics cameras and NDI and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, so check that out if you're interested. Uh, you'll find that on the PTZ Optics YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, if anyone has any questions, today's show, very short, very sweet, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Um, I did put the links to the lights we recommend in the chat. So if you're curious, you can check those out there. As always, if you have any questions after the show, feel free to send us an email, info at epifan.com. Uh, if you have show ideas, you can send that to us as well. And uh, we're happy to check those out. Um, I see Werner T saying hi from the Netherlands. Hello, Werner. It's been a while since I think we've seen you in chat. So welcome. Hello. Um, again, if anyone has any questions about busy lights, how they work with Pearl or just in general, um, you know, feel free to, uh, to ask away. Um, like I said, it's, it's so simple. There's not much to show. Um, so they're, they're, so Werner was just saying, but are they tally lights through scripting? No, these are not tally lights. This is just a busy light. So the way it's working here connected to Pearl is just indicating live streaming or recording status. It will light when you're live streaming or recording uh, or both. Um, so it is not a tally light, that's, that's different. Um, this is basically just an indicator. So for those of you who've seen a Pearl Mini, Pearl Mini has LEDs built into the front of it for streaming and recording, but sometimes physically they're not that easy to see at a distance, or maybe the Pearl's in a closet or in a podium, so other people may not be able to see it. They also face the operator. So using a busy light means you could stick this on a wall, stick this outside the room, wherever you physically need to give that indication that your stream and recording is running. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, and you're saying, can you script tally? No, uh, unfortunately, no, uh, we don't. Tally is a totally, totally different system and a totally different animal. Um, 
you require obviously tally lights that can be scripted and then something to do it. Um, right now, there's no way to do that through a Perl. Uh, you would have to do that externally. Um, but um, again, that's a, that's a very different type of data and communication standard compared to what we're doing um, you know, currently. So you know, that's maybe something we could look at in the future, but, but currently there's, there's no way of doing that. Again, it's, it's a very, very different type of status and communication between real tally lights and literally a simple plug and play zero config, uh, bigger, brighter indicator. Um, so again, Werner, if it, just for your sake, going back one slide, you know, these are some of the Delcom ones. These are the, the other ones. They're very, very basic, um, you know, just, just a light, uh, just to show when, when that's running. So, of course, uh, always check out our website, epifan.com, and, uh, you know, you can learn more about Pearl there if you're not already familiar with it. As already mentioned, you can send us emails, uh, comments, questions, anything you have, info at epifan.com. We have been doing webinars uh, every single week, a number of them, uh, usually on Wednesdays. Not that's not set in stone, but usually on Wednesdays. And, uh, you know, we have more coming up. So check out our website, epifan.com slash webinars. You'll also see a link at the top of the homepage uh, for what, what episodes of our webinars are coming up. And, of course, seeing the back catalog of everything we've done. Live at Epifan, we're here every Thursday, uh, 3 o'clock Eastern, doing this. Um, I honestly do not remember, really. Let me see if my notes say what we're doing next week. Uh, next week... We are doing a little bit more about how we're doing some of this stuff from home. We're going to go behind the curtain. We've done some episodes before um, where we've looked at some recommended best practices for doing things from home. Next week, we're going to be specifically pulling back the curtain on what Epifan staff individually have actually done. So are we actually following our own advice? We'll see. Um, I did see Kim. I see your question there. Um, if, if you have to communicate internally, which system can you recommend? Uh, if you're meaning internal conferencing systems, Kim, um, to me, they're all the same, to be honest. Um, they're all evolving quite a bit. We internally use Zoom, uh, but I know a lot of people use Teams. A lot of people use Google. Um, a lot of people still use WebEx. Uh, I don't think they all basically do the exact same job. Um, I think that choosing Zoom or I've heard Teams is doing this now. If you're a larger enterprise and you want to tie into a PBX phone system, both Zoom and I believe Teams is starting to roll that out as well. So if that's important to your choice, look at those. Um, so uh, that's that's pretty great. Um yeah, Werner's just coming to SRT. <laughs> um, yeah, Pearl, yeah, there's a bunch of things there. Uh, so again, once again, really appreciate everyone's uh, time today. Short and sweet one today. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with anyone that uh, you may know that has a Pearl and needs indicators. We've added that. It's there. Just update your firmware and uh, you'll have access to that. And of course, buying a light. Um, so we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.